As the sun sinks slowly to oblivion And the sky begins to grow dark I watch the stars in disremembrance Of how far away you are And it's hard for me to know what to do It begins with holes in the knees and then there's the Seattle sound. It's kind of like the look. It's called the garage sound or grunge. But what about the Yakima sound? Well, a group of local musicians proudly released their version of it to the rest of the world today. It's called Rotten Apples, and it features the music of 11 local groups on CD. While names like Boneyard Jack and Mind Tantrum may not be household names just yet, the musicians, many of whom are students at local high schools, are hoping this rotten apple falls a long way from the tree. And straight ahead tonight. High school, Sonics, and even Sun King highlights. And the rotten apples are taking off. We'll explain it when the late edition continues. Book of Wisdom, News 23's Wisdom Martin takes us into the music world and discovers some of Yakima's finest rotten apples. When Yakima's Thane Phelan isn't selling the sounds of tapes and CDs at the music station, he is responsible for putting together a group of rotten apples. No, not those apples, but these apples. Thane is the executive producer of the compilation release of Yakima's Finest Rockers. Uh, we just started talking to local bands and nobody could put out their own CD. So we thought if we got them all together, pitched in, in the money together, that uh, that would be a good way to put the thing out. The Rotten Apples Project gives several local bands a chance to get their music out. Because it's really tough to get uh, somewhere to be heard. You know, there's not a lot of clubs to play locally. We're requested a lot. We're walking in the uh, grocery store and some kids walk by and they go, Hey, that's a singer for Black Belt Jones. There's a lot of talent in town. There's a lot and it's cool that they have a place to show it off. If you have an idea of something, you might as well try it because you only got one chance at all this and, and you might as well take a chance and do it. One day he hopes to put together a local record company that spotlights local artists. But for now, his priority is the music station and producing some of Yakima's best, Rotten Apples. In Yakima, Wisdom Martin, KNDO News 23. And the Rotten Apple Disc 3 should be out a little later this year. And it's Friday night, that means... has a number of talented young bands trying to make it big. But to achieve the fame of some well-known Northwest bands, they say there is one major obstacle to overcome, no place to play. Craig Alberth reports. Meet Rusty Forgy, Matt Brown, and Damon Wood. They are the three members of the Sela band Stonefly. Stonefly and more than a dozen other Yakima Valley bands have contributed a song to a new compilation CD called Rotten Apples 3 with help from Yakima Music Production Services and the music station, the local distributor. Stonefly and other bands attracted a large crowd performing live at the store Thursday. But this is a rare opportunity for Stonefly because many local bands labeled alternative are having trouble finding a place to play in the area. Part of the reason dates back five years when a wild crowd tore up seats in the Capitol Theater at a concert performed by Screaming Trees, an Ellensburg band that has gained national prominence. Stonefly played the Sela Civic Center several times before a fight broke out, ending their run at that venue. Because of that one fight, the city of Sela shut us down. It's either these kids are, are doing something, uh, you know, where they're in a safe place, or they're doing something where they're not in a safe place and they're making a ruckus, you know, and, and, and nobody's safe. Bands on the new CD are from Yakima, Sela, Sunnyside, and Grandview to name a few. Many of them have formed in the last year. Some Northwest bands found themselves in limbo as the hub of alternative music left Seattle. Two of that city's biggest bands, Nirvana and Soundgarden, are no more. And breakthrough band Pearl Jam now does its best to dodge media attention. But one local musician says the Yakima Valley has its own sound in 1997, unaffected by what's happened in Seattle. We don't go over to Seattle to go over and sound like Seattle. In fact, that's the reason why the music scene is so stagnant as so many bands have plagiarized. Longo agrees with Stonefly about the future of the Yakima music scene. He says our area could gain more attention if they're given a chance to play. In Yakima, Craig Galbraith reporting. Well, you wouldn't want to get between this... <laughs>